New information tonight on a story 10 TV broke this afternoon on 10 TV.com. The Columbus firefighter who sparked a sex scandal at the fire division has been fired. Columbus Safety Director Mitchell Brown made the call today. 10 TV's Glenn McIntyre is outside his office with more and why Kane is already appealing. Glenn. Kristen, this investigation started last spring and went on for many months, pulling in many of Kane's fellow firefighters to testify about what they witnessed inside Station 17. Tonight, despite his firing, Mark Kane isn't going quietly. Mark Kane was once honored as a public servant and a hero for his life saving actions at an emergency scene. Tonight, he is neither, no longer a public servant, no longer a Columbus firefighter. It all stems from an 18 month sexual relationship with a young woman starting when she was 18. She told investigators they had sex frequently inside Station 17 on the hilltop and other fire division facilities. She told them she had access codes to come and go from the building as she pleased and that she rode on station medics and emergency equipment. A months long investigation bore out her claims and Kane was recommended for termination by Fire Chief Greg Paxton. Today, Safety Director Mitchell Brown upheld that ruling. Kane has already appealed to the Civil Service Commission, citing unfair treatment, unfair punishment, wrongful discharge, and lack of evidence. Now, Kane had the option of appealing his firing through the Civil Service Commission or through the grievance process established by the Firefighters Union. He chose to go through the Civil Service Commission, which means the Firefighters Union will not be representing him through this process. We did speak with the attorney who is representing Kane's former mistress. Kevin Kern says, quote, in order to protect the integrity of this profession and all firefighters who serve honorably, I believe Director Brown made the right decision in firing Mark Kane, end quote. Neither the safety director nor fire chief would answer our request for comment tonight. Reporting live downtown, Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.